brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? You know, uh, the biggest lie that these Saxons ever told us is that we were free on our own planet, our own realm. America, home of the free, home of the brave. But at the same time, they want you to pay these bills. <laughs> they want you to pay these bills. They want you to obey a sign, a stop sign. They want you to obey a stop light. They want you to uh, think on the, the things that they desire for you to think on. All right. They want you to work hard, you know, and even if you when you're talking about owning your own business. Oh, I don't work for nobody. I own my own business. Hey, still <laughs> you working for an organism that's not supposed to be in existence called money. All right. So it doesn't matter what side of the the, the, the road you own. Whether you're on, you're on the side of working for somebody or working for yourself, because even if you're working for yourself, you're working for somebody, which means that you gotta give somebody some type of services in order to get that um, what you call money. All right, so we're not free in this sense. Oh yeah, you can walk around. You can. Oh yeah, you can say whatever you want to say. We don't. We don't care. You know, you can do whatever you want to do as long as within the lines of what we uh, uh, allow you to do. Oh yeah, you can. You know, if you talk against the president, we're not gonna kill you. You know, this. This is. This is how they want us to be. All over this realm, they want us to abide by their laws, their principles, their rules. And, and not to object or be objective towards what they desire, all right? That's not freedom, all right? That's not freedom. I don't care where you go. You got brother system and say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to Africa. And some of Uganda is taking in American refugees. Where the fuck are we refugees? That's why I want to know. Which one of us are refugees? You know? Our people are so fucking dumb down by the system, they don't understand that we're supposed to be in a quantum state. All right? Like that last message that we had, you know, accessing the quantum realms. We're supposed to be in a quantum state, which means that our mindset is supposed to be on an extremely high uh, 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 level or the high frequency. It's like we was talking about the frequencies one day. All right, so you got to understand, you know, the, the, the quantum mindset, the quantum energy, the quantum power. All right? So, just like the Aurora Borealis. All right? All that energy is that's hitting the center of the realm is literally quantum energy. All right? So these Saxons would do everything that they possibly can to keep that energy uh, come, uh, 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 right there, condensed right there because that quantum energy will, if, if, if it was to go all over this realm, it would literally hurt their bodies. I'm telling you. All right? Now, when you're dealing with the quantum, when you're dealing with the quantum energy, you start going to the quantum realm, all right, and tapping into these, uh, 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 I call them quantum parsecs. You know, when you begin to tap into these different areas of, 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 of the quantum, you open yourself up to so many different levels. Let's just say you have a brother and a sister, and both of them have tapped into that quantum, into that quantum energy, all right? Because you gotta remember, your body is an organic machine. All right, these these carbon-based bodies, these so-called black bodies, are organic machines designed to harness the most powerful energies ever known, the most powerful powers ever known, the most powerful light ever known, the most powerful everything 
that nature and the cosmos can give ever known. This, this is what these bodies are designed. And you have a brother and a sister, all right? Both of them tapped into the quantum realm, both of them into, into extreme levels of energies. They're, they're on, a, on, a, on, a higher, on a higher scale, on a higher frequency, on a higher octane, all right? And they have a child. And that child comes from the womb. After however long that child's supposed to be there, all right? Because in the olden days there were no calendars. You know when the child was was going to be born. The Saxons had, had literally turned everything into calendars and time, you know, and they they've connected all of that to their money system, all right? But that child is born, and then that child. All right. Then um comes out. Unlike any other child. And that child is doing things that other children don't usually do. That child comes out of the womb and within a week that child is already sitting straight up. Okay? Within a month, that child is already talking. Within another month, that child is already walking. This is a, this is a, what you call a, a quantum energy baby. And then this child begins to do great, powerful things. All right? This is a representation of our people, brothers and sisters, where we come from. This represents the life that we once lived. All right? So understand the quantum child, the, the, the quantum energy, the quantum babies. That whole story of, of, of Mary and baby Jesus is kind of crazy how you have uh, uh, these, these names. Okay, I'm not even getting into the names. All right. Let's, let's get on to what I'm saying. Um, if you have Mary and baby Jesus and said Mary had was born through immaculate conception, and you got to understand that at one point, our women, our women were so deep into the quantum realms within themselves that they could access that sperm that 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 uh, 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 sperm within them because what men our brothers understand this we have everything that a woman has all right she has hers on the inside and we have ours on the outside that's the only difference we so we have everything that a woman has so our women were so deep into the quantum realm all right, they were so deep within the quantum realm that they knew how to access that body, their bodies, and they could cause their that that uh, 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 organ within them that produces sperm to go inside of their bodies. Yes, when you talk about asexual, yes. All right, and they were able to give birth to babies, either male or female, all right? They were able to give birth to babies without the man being there to have intercourse with them because they were so deep into the quantum realms. They were so deep into the quantum energies that they could access that part of their body and produce sperm and create a child without the male being present. Okay? This is what we're talking about quantum realm, brothers and sisters. This is what we're talking about quantum energies. This is what we're talking about, the quantum power. All right? And we have to build this realm back up because you remember we talked about this I've been, actually I've been I've been talking about this for the longest how we had structures everywhere and these structures gave off this powerful energy and these structures literally 
kept us in a quantum mindset because the only thing we did was we added on to what we already built. We started building one thing and then we added on to another thing, then we added another thing, and then we added another thing. And we had whole empires and dynasties built through the quantum mindset. And upon our falling, when we fell from where we came from, these Saxons literally destroyed all of that because they understood what the quantum what, what quantum energy was because it was hurting their bodies. Remember we talked about when they first came here and they were walking around with all these long coats on and, 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 and all to protect their bodies from the heat. But now it's going back to this and this time, brothers and sisters, we're going to start building and we're going to be looking at these motherfuckers and telling them, touch this and you're going to find out what's going to happen to you. All right? We got to go back deep into this quantum energy, this quantum power. All right? This is where we got to be. We can't allow ourselves to be dumbed down anymore by the societal structure that they created so that they can live and thrive with this money. What did we say before? All oh, we, you know, early on, what we were saying, we said, hey, Take this money that they that they're giving you. They want you to work so hard for it. You're so free that you gotta work. We are so free that we gotta work for everything. This that's how free we are. That we gotta work for everything. We so free that we gotta pay energy bills when we could be creating our own energy for our own homes, like our ancestors created energy. We so free that we have to pay. Water bills. We're so free we have to pay for Wi-Fi. When the shit is when the shit is number radio signals across the uh, uh, across the atmosphere. They they tap into the ionosphere. That's that's how free we are. Which means that we gotta bring that freedom to us. Which means you have to build your freedom. Nobody we have yet to see anyone come here and free us. We have yet to see anyone come here and say, oh. Let me show you how to get to the quantum realm. Let me show you how to tap into that quantum energy. You know, we have yet to see anyone come down from a ship. Because that's what brothers and sisters are waiting on. They're waiting on a savior. We haven't seen any savior come and say, okay, let me rebuild all this up here that was torn down. And No, because it's going to take us, which means that we have to return ourselves to that quantum realm. We have to return ourselves to that quantum energy, to that quantum power. Without us doing this for ourselves, there is we we have nothing else to stand on, brothers and sisters. We have nothing else to stand on. So it's it's going to take us to restore ourselves. That's what it's going to take. It's going to take us to restore ourselves. It's going to take us to take ourselves into that higher mindset. It's going to take us to regain that energy and power that we came from. Just like we talked about, you know, regeneration. When you 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 were regenerating, when you were rebuilding, re-energizing, and you gotta re-energize those dormant cells that are within you. Take yourself to that higher state of mind. And then from that higher state of mind, what do you do? You, you create that because this is what happens in the cosmos. This is why these scientists say, you know, they say, oh, there's a there's a planet just that just appeared out of nowhere because the quantum energies, because the energies are so high within what you call space where time doesn't exist. It's nothing but quantum energy. And when you're dealing with quantum energies, you're dealing with some of the extremely powerful frequencies, extremely powerful energies. All right. You don't, you're dealing with photon frequency, with plasma frequency, with ether frequency, with frequencies from different metals that's everywhere. You're dealing with these powerful frequencies. This is what you're dealing with because yeah, you got to remember, just like we said before, before there was time or energy, that was a frequency. That's number one. Before that was time or energy, that was a frequency. 
So when you're dealing with this quantum energy and it's nothing, the energy is so high and it's so powerful and the peaks of the frequencies up in space are so freaking high that what happens? Creation. Creation. Because you get to a certain to a certain point where you know you 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 just can't hold it in no more. I have to I have to make this appear on the outside. I have to build this. I have to create this because we're literally creation. And then you find yourself creating all kinds of structures. You know, just like that that uh, device I'm building. I mean, you know, I showed it to one of the brothers in the gym. You know, and he was like, "What what?" What, what made you build that? He said, where'd you, where'd you get that template from? I said, I just thought that from the bottom, from, I said, that's just thought that came straight to my head. See, when you're in that quantum mindset, you're gonna have these thoughts that come to you and say, I can create this, I can build that, I can design this, I can build that, I can do this, I can do that. That's what you're gonna have within you because you're gonna be like, wait a minute. Huh, this is, Okay, I can't just sit here and and and, and I, you done been in all the meditation, you done did all your your tai chi, you done you done did all these things here. All right, you're doing all your chi exercises, and it's like the next thing that you can do is build, is create, is design, is structure. All right, so you have to understand that. That quantum state of mind, that quantum abilities. And the more you build, the more powerful you become. The more powerful you become, the higher your frequencies are flowing. The higher your frequencies are flowing, the higher the energies are around you. Therefore, you begin to, what they call, illuminate. You begin to illuminate. You begin to to uh, 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 shine on a completely different level. You begin to, to, to vibrate on a, on, a, on, a, on a frequency beyond what anybody could ever understand. So we only see this type of shit on the TVs, all right? We only see this on the TV. We only see this type of shit um, in, 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 in the movies. It's like Raising Dion and, and, and um, what you got? Um, X-Men and, I mean, you, 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 <laughs> Superman and Wonder Woman. You know? We got all of, we got all of these different examples around us to show us that the quantum state is where you can tap into this extremely powerful energy that cannot be quenched, that cannot be broken, that cannot be severed. It can't be punctured. It can't, you know, this is, this is where we come from. And this is where we must return. So that quantum mindset, that quantum energy, we have to create a quantum society Orgon, you know, we talking about building orgones. What are you doing? Every one of you who create an orgone, you put that orgone somewhere out, you dig in the ground and put that, put it somewhere conspicuously. What are you doing? You introducing the quantum, our realm again to the quantum realm. Because this is where our, our, our realm was once. It's in the quantum realm. Our realm was literally in a quantum state before we had all these buildings and these cars and trucks and, 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 and businesses and all this. We were in a completely different state. Now this is where we have to return to. We have to return to that, to, 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 to where we came from. But the thing about it is we have to be on a much higher scale. All right. We got to take it on a much higher scale. We can't just sit here and think that um, we're going to be on a, on a on a low scale and we got to do this and we got to keep we want keep we gotta keep on doing this right here. We have we are the ones who's got to make the change, brothers and sisters. All right? We are the ones who got to make the change. There's nobody who's going to make the change for us. 
There is no Jesus that's going to come down and save everybody the way these Saxons put it in there. There is no uh, uh, Muhammad that's going to come back and save everybody. There is no Holy Spirit going to come. There is no Jehovah that's going to come. All right. These are all lower beings that are literally beneath us. We are angelic deities. We are primordial deities. We are above the gods, as we said before. We're primordial deities. We're angelic beings. So we're supposed to be on this higher quantum level. And this quantum level will take us into a whole different area of thought. We would think on a, on a, on a scale of high frequency. We would think on a scale of high vibrations. We would think on a scale of high energy. All right? You're talking about etherical thoughts. You're talking about plasma thoughts. You're talking about photonic, photonic thoughts. Where you begin to understand the different energies and how they form. And you begin to bring the cosmos down to the planet. Like I told brothers and sisters long ago when I first started this YouTube channel, I said, I'm going to bring heaven down to earth. I told them, I said, I'm going to bring heaven down to earth. And that's all through awakening the brothers and sisters and taking you into this whole nother area of power. All right. This is what it's all about. See, I don't have to do a podcast. I ain't got to be on nobody's nobody's podcast or anything because my work, speaks, my work speaks for itself. All right. My work speaks for itself. So the whole key point is taking ourselves back into the state of the absolutes. The absolute is when you're dealing with the quantum energy. The absolute is when you're dealing completely with source. The absolute is when you're dealing completely with everything that's within you and around you. That relates to nature, to the cosmos, to the universe, to the, the galaxy, to frequencies, to vibrations, to energies. All right. This is what we're looking at here. This is what we this is what takes us into that quantum state. Just like we said in, 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 in one of the last videos, we say, hey, you know, you close your eyes. And you get a, you get into that wrestle state. And you put some frequencies on and you start seeing these different shapes and these different colors. And you see them flowing. And you see them moving around. That's that quantum state. Your mind is in that quantum state. Now that your mind is in that quantum state, you you link into that higher state and you begin to pull in everything that belongs to you in that quantum state. You see why our enemies, these Saxons and, and, and all the, and their counterparts gave us all of this other stuff to focus on because they didn't want us to go into this state of mind because they know when you're dealing with the quantum realm, you're dealing with the realm that has a, has energy that is literally unstable. It's an uncontrolled state of, 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 of energy. See, when you're dealing with um, 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 controlled energy, when you're dealing with controlled time, when you're dealing with control this, control that, that's not good. Because that means someone can rule over it. That means someone can could, could hold on to it and do things that they want to do with it. But when you have an uncontrollable energy, an uncontrollable source of power, all right? When you have an, 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 an open chain, things that are not chained up, when you have an open chain, this is what they don't like because it's like they don't have control. They, they have this desire to want to control everything because they have... They don't have what we have. We need to control the angels. We need to control the angels because this is their heaven and the physical. And we want it to be our heaven too. We can't share it. We can't share it when we never will share it. But we're going back into this quantum state. We tag it into unlimited energies, unlimited powers, unlimited forces where time does not exist, even though there's, and to be honest, let's, let's be honest about it. There's no day and no, and no night. You have a time for energy and for things to be energized 
and a time for everything to grow. All right. So what happens at nighttime? What happens when when the sun is out? The sun is constantly pushing energy into everything. The sun is constantly pushing energy into everything. That's what the sun is doing. And then, and that's that's that electricity, because in the electrical sun. All right. And then what happens? When the sun goes down, and it's night, and you see the moon, and the moon is literally gravitating and causing everything that was electrified to be magnified. And then you come that next day, and you, when, the, when, when it's light again, and you say, wow, I just planted these seeds, and they're already six inches tall. You see what I'm saying? So you have a period of charging up and then you have a period of growth. You have a period of charging, a period of, a period of magnifying. When someone, something magnifies, it's growing. It's what it does, it's growing, it's magnifying. So you understand where we coming from, brothers and sisters. We have a powerful duty upon us. And it is time that we awaken ourselves to this power. It's time that we awaken ourselves to this abilities. It's time that we awaken ourselves to everything that belongs to us. We have to set aside everything that mankind created and bring in everything that belongs to us. And that's what you call redemption, redeem. You're talking about the Christ redeemer. The redemption of the Christ energy, which means that you have to put away something else to bring something else in. All right. And that's what we'll redeem me. Look it up. Look up redemption. Look up and find out what redemption means. That means you take one thing, put it to the side. I don't need this anymore. And pull in something else so that you can bring yourself into this extremely powerful energy that you belong to, this extremely powerful force that you belong to, this extremely powerful frequencies that you belong to, this extremely powerful vibrations that you belong to, the extremely powerful energies and everything, the, the everything, sound, mind, your soul, the darkness, dark energy, dark matter, plasma, photon, ether i mean come on now we we can we can go on and on and on on this matter here this is where we belong brothers and sisters all right this is where we belong and this is the energy that we belong to so we must take ourselves into this uh extremely powerful state of mind the quantum mind and bring forth that which is dormant. All right. Remember, when you go into that, when you finally tap into that quantum state, that quantum energy, when you come out of it, you're gonna want to build something because this is this is a natural thing when you're dealing with the quantum realm. You're gonna want to build something. You're gonna want to create something. You're gonna want to design something. You're gonna want to function on a quantum level. All right. I think that'd be all for you right now. The quantum realm, this quantum realm, the quantum realm, and we bringing back the quantum realm so we can understand where we come from. All right. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings may chaos ring through forever and ever. I remember, brothers and sisters, chaos is change. <laughs> chaos is change. Much power to you all.